for example, one of the best best examples I have when it comes to understanding what decentralization is, right? You can take it in terms of an economy, right? Would you like to live in an economy where five or ten people in a country where five or ten people make uh, the decisions of how everything is done in that country in terms of economics, politics, uh, in terms of economics, politics, you can say it, but in terms of economics, trade, right? Would you like to live in a country where, where there are five companies that control everything? Or would you like to live in a country where there are 500 companies that control everything, right? Or make everything that you need, or even better, 5,000 companies that make everything that you need, or five companies that make everything that you need. I'll take a country that has 5,000 companies over a country that has 500, let alone five co companies making everything. Because a country where five companies or five people control all economic activity is fragile, is fragile. If you have one or two of those people compromise, that means 20, 40% of economic activity in that region is geared towards more centralization of power right taking money away from the citizens if you have 5000 countries you have to control two uh, companies you have to control 2000 companies to control 40% of the commerce in that country that's way difficult to do way more difficult to do right so decentralization is the only path humanity has to make us anti-fragile and see us into the future if we continue to centralize everything the way the eu wants to do the way nato wants to do we're fucked right we're completely screwed completely screwed right very dangerous very dangerous and that applies to everything centralization and everything decentralization right